and welcome back to this channel. My name's Moonlight Fairy or Hannah um, and uh, today I'll be doing a, another book review for you today. So the book that I will be reviewing today is this one which is Moon Time by Lucy H. Pierce and it's amazing. Um, there is generally a theme with like the books that I'm reading at the minute and you'll probably see as I start to review them more in this channel as well that um, I've kind of got onto a genre of books that I really really like and it's mainly generally to do with women, women's empowerment and working with our bodies and things like that so um, you'll probably see a theme of that coming up with the rest of the videos on my personal channel with the book reviews that I'll be reviewing on this channel as well because this this is kind of the vibe that I'm really feeling at the minute and what I really want to basically learn about more but this book um, has really kind of taken me on a journey that I wasn't really expecting um, to go on really when I first picked this one up um, I basically wanted to find something to find more about working with your moon, your moon cycle your menstrual cycle and understanding it a little bit more and looking at the spiritual side of it a little bit more because I'd seen people sort of talking about it talking about moon blood rites things like that I didn't really understand it um to me at first like a period was just a period it didn't really have a, a lot of significance until I started researching into it and I thought you know this is something that's quite interesting so I picked up a couple of books on it um, I picked up this one and I also picked up Red Moon by Miranda Gray uh, I haven't read that one yet um, I started I picked up this one I started reading this one and I love this one so much I can't wait to read more about um, the menstrual cycle and the relation to the moon and everything like that but this one is amazing so Basically, this is a really popular book on Amazon. It says um, that it's number one in menstruation on Amazon, and I can definitely see why. Um, a lot of people apparently have said around the world this has been hailed as a life changing by women. Um, and basically, Moon Time shares a fully embodied understanding of the menstrual cycle, full of practical insight, empowering resources, creative activities, and passion. This book will put you back in touch with your body's wisdom and in my opinion that is exactly what it does um and it's just really great and it's great for sort of everyone as well um with a lot of um even if it's i think it's really accessible to a lot of people um whereas some books that are on about harnessing um your sort of womb energy and your menstrual cycle and stuff sometimes they don't always seem to appeal to everybody because um you cut you you know if you're on the pill like it's like you know you you're disregarded if you have problems with your fertility sometimes like you're disregarded which in this one um she talks about kind of everything as well which is quite good for people who maybe would normally feel a little bit sort of secluded otherwise um so she talks about um if you're coming off the pill um if you are on the pill and you've got like a medicated moon time and the differences with that and you can still work with your moon time energy it's just a bit different obviously um and healing from issues with your womb and things she talks about that as well um she goes through things to do with childbirth um going into childbirth coming out of childbirth that sort of thing so she does cover an awful lot um but i would definitely recommend this book um if you are wanting to learn about more of the spiritual side of like a menstrual cycle and harnessing that energy really um but it's really good um the style that she writes it in it's quite a personal sort of style she talks about her own journey as well um so you know more about her which is really nice so she's got that personal sort of feel from it um she goes through like why our cycles are important um and what it's kind of all to do with um like why is it something that needs paying attention to um she also goes through kind of what it means to be a woman sort of what percep people's perceptions are people's perceptions of periods and things like that in today's society which in my opinion is something that needs to be addressed because um i feel like a lot of people feel that periods are something that should be shunned and shouldn't be talk uh, talked about and when you basically first come on your period at least that's it's how it was for me when i first come on my period it was just very much like you know you just got to get on with it um here's some sanitary products just 
keep it to yourself, you didn't talk about it, you didn't talk about it at school, if anyone knew that you were on your period, they were like, eh, she's on her period, and it was just something that was made to be feel, <coughs> sorry, you were made to be felt um, really like gross and disgusted by, and it's not really about that, there's so much more to your period, and it's a natural thing in general, but harnessing more of the spiritual side of things there's definitely sort of significance in there so that's why I um I did pick up this book and I definitely really am happy about picking it up but she also goes through the menstrual cycle as well so she explains the whole process of it so your menstrual um your um menstruation like pre-ovulation your ovulation um and um she goes through like menopause and things like that as well um when you're coming out of being of your bleeding time and everything like that and how you're going to feel um she talks about um pregnancy childbirth going back into um your menstrual cycle after childbirth and all the different things to do with that and people's perceptions of it and how you feel like some people um are really happy that they uh, have that they have their period and there's a lot more happiness when they come on the period because it means that they're you know they didn't get pregnant whereas sometimes there is sadness with that because it means that you know they they aren't pregnant and they're wanting to get pregnant so it it talks about that as well um with like the different sort of phases you are um in with you when you're on your period um, the different sort of phases that you, you're in depending which life sort of phase you're in like obviously if you're young if you're coming into sort of wanting to go into like motherhood if you're coming out of motherhood and you don't want to have children anymore um to when you're going through the menopause that sort of thing she goes through like everything really um she also um goes through like um, moon celebrations so different celebrations that you can do with the moon phases to do with your periods and um the connection of the two together she talks about charting your cycle as well and kind of um it's syncing up with the full moon and things uh the new moon and that you might find that you're naturally just sync up with it i've spoken to some people and theirs do really sync up with the the um the moon phases and that and they didn't even realize people who aren't into like spirituality and witchcraft and they're like completely blown away when I talk about it to them so um it's all very interesting um when you try to cycle you start to really notice a lot more about things and that's what I've started to do as well um which I'm hoping to do a video on my own channel about um working with that as well like charting your cycle and things like that um she also goes through uh, fertility um as well so charting fertility and that sort of thing as well um and um also um like medicated moon time so obviously if you're on the pill as well she discusses that and working with the moon time energies when you're on you bleed with the pill obviously it's not a normal period but you can still harness the energies it's just going to be a bit different because it's obviously not a natural bleed um she talks about how to work by your menstrual cycle so working the best way around your menstrual cycle so when you're obviously on your men uh, when you're menstruating you usually will feel generally quite tired and you don't really want to have to do a lot really so charting your cycle means that you can plan things a little bit more so you can plan things around it a little bit more so you're not trying to do too much on your period so you can really work with the energies a lot more and it's not as going to be as negative as you might normally find it um she gives you rituals and activities to do with honoring your moon time as well which is really good as well um and she also talks about sort of female rights to celebrate as well that's a lot that isn't really celebrated that much in in uh, today's society so like the first blood um i can't remember the name of it because within um then no, 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 some i can't remember but basically when you first start your period it's not really celebrated in today's society or at least it wasn't really with me and like my family friends and things like that it's just something that you kind of expected to get over and it's no big deal really um but she goes through that as well um and then she also talks about red tents and moon lodges towards the end as well which um i've become really really interested in um very recently um because of everything really it's just amazing those red tents and moon lodges um i did watch the red tent um the red tent 
uh, TV show um, that was on um, Netflix. I would highly recommend watch that. It's like a two-part series. If you haven't watched it, then please go watch it because it's just amazing. Like, I'm pretty sure you're going to love it. Um, but yeah, that um, the Red Tent idea that's featured in that story, which is where it's kind of come from, um, it's all about um, basically women's, uh, like a women's circle um, where you gather sort of around the full moon to be around your you're on your period basically um you share stories um and really kind of connect and build that friendship women, uh, female bond amongst like you women the your uh, women friends the women in the community that sort of thing that's what it's all about and like a moon lodge is somewhere sort of similar but she goes through the differences of them and everything in the book as well so yeah um it just covers an awful lot um in here she's got different exercises that you can do as well so um, at different points you can come back she asks your kind of opinions on things as well and gets you to sort of think about things a bit more so it is quite an engaging book in that sense as well so um it's just such a highly like a book that i can highly highly recommend to everyone really um i'm going to be lending this to probably everybody because i'm going to tell everyone that they need to read it she also does one called reaching for the moon as well which is aimed at um like young girls like 9 to 14 i think it is um basically talking about what it's going to be like coming on the period and giving them a bit more insight into it so if i had children i'm pretty sure i'd get them that uh, because it looks pretty good i think i'll probably uh, purchase that at some point and read that anyway because it'd be quite interesting to see kind of what she talks about in that sense as well um but yeah i would highly recommend this one okay so um thank you for watching this video um and um if you did like this video then please subscribe to this channel and everything if you want to see more videos um, from me then also please subscribe to my personal channel so it's moonlight fairy um i'll put um, links and everything in the description box below for you to find everything um but once again thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in another video shortly goodbye